Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Banish with me, Biffa, here in our growing town of Nice. Yes, things are expanding and growing, and we're not doing too badly so far. I'm pretty pleased with the way things are working out. I love these models. Look, the fact that they can walk underneath there. We need to make use of things like that with paths and things. That's fantastic. So, guys, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for the support on the first two episodes. It's it's great to bring back an old game like this that I've really, really enjoyed playing in the past. And to come back and be you know really excited to play it again and to see that you guys are as well. You're a child. You don't have to work just yet. How old are you? One. Wow, you're a tall one-year-old. Good grief. What are they feeding you here? Duck. Duck and reeds. That must be something to do with that. Anyway. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for the support, the likes, all the comments, and the fact that you're commenting things like, Yay, Banish is back, I've missed it, I loved it, and all that sort of thing, really makes me happy. So, thank you very much for that. So, let's continue. What are we doing today? We need to finish off today. We need to get this done. We've got the tailor, <clears throat> which is almost finished. Excuse me one second. I had a frog in my throat. Uh, nearly finished, here we go. Let's just speed up the game a tiny touch. There we go. Let's get that done. So, if we add a person in there, and we can make hide coats from leather, I'm not sure we're going to make 50 at a time. Uh, wool, reeds and feathers. We've got reeds, and we've got feathers as well. Survival coats. Could make some of those. Full coat with cloth and linen, so we're not getting any of those. We've got a lot of leather though, 53 leather. Let's stick to hide coats at the moment. Um, we'll leave that on 50, why not? Um, Labourers, builders, that's going okay. And what I want is some... Oh, what does that do? A clothier. Clothier? Upgrade to a clothier for better clothing options. Some resources can exist in... Right, okay. Well, we're okay as we are at the moment. We don't need any more clothing options. This is at the limit. It keeps saying it's at the limit, although we don't have much lumber. Uh, have we got this lumber being stored anywhere else? Let's just check around. Nothing in the old castle. Well, four in the old castle. No lumber in there. And this one over here. What have we got in here? No lumber in there. Notice we've got gold gilders, which is interesting. I'm assuming... Oh, we've got hide coats. There we go. Excellent. I'm assuming gold gilders... <clears throat> are to do with trading. We can do something with those. We shall see as we uh, as, as the game progresses. So I'm trying to work out what it is here that we're stopping at. I mean, we've got enough materials there. I don't think it needs... I don't know why it's got that. Is it producing materials? I'm not entirely understanding that materials limit there. I know the devs have been watching this uh, episode. They could explain to me... Where are the materials coming from and what it means? There doesn't seem to be anything particular that's telling me what they're for and what they're doing. Oh, while we've got this open, we were looking for homewares, weren't we, before? Here we go. It used to be called... He did tell me, was it furniture or something like that? And they changed the name. Furniture's still there. It was something else that began with F. And even though they changed the name to homewares, as you can see, it's still listed here in, <laughs> in an F order. So... Uh, we needed to find out where that was last episode. We managed that anyway, but yeah, that's why I couldn't find it. So it is there, it is there. But this is, you know, there is little tweaks and bugs being fixed. So if we spot anything, we can we can work on that. Okay, he's at his maximum there, so that's fine. So I'm thinking if I increase that, our fuel limit is also... Oh, it's this one here, isn't it? Our fuel limit is also not at the max. So it's this one here that's stopping this producing lumber. I mean, if I upgrade that to 500 or change that to 500... There we go. Yeah, that's fine. So that will now produce more lumber. I'm not sure... Hmm. Whether we're going to be just be getting a ton more materials. We'll have to see as it goes along what's going on with the materials. There's, there's nothing that I can see. Oh, that's what I was going to check. That's why I opened this. Is to go down to materials. And see if they're particularly made somewhere and I'm missing it. Uh, no, they're not. They're not. Unless they were called something else and they're somewhere else in the list as well. I don't know. But no, there's no materials listed there. So let's see, we can glass. Looks the same, doesn't it? Glass. I think materials includes quite a few things. We've got nothing that's making glass at the moment, so 
I'll need to do some more research on that. We need to find out about that um, and find out. But anyway, at least we get the lumber going because we know we want to make that for producing bigger buildings. So hopefully that will carry on. He's fine. Yeah, don't know why he keeps opening. He's now producing the coat. So what have we got? One coat. I think quite a few of them didn't have coats. But now they have. Food. Yes, I was very bad on maths, with my maths, on the last episode. I think it was the last one. Trying to work out 100 per person. We had 16 people. That's 160. No, it's 1,600, wouldn't it be, of course. So we've got, what have we got? 24, 34 people. So we need at least 3,400 food a year. Hooray for maths. So we're not quite doing the best that we can with the food. So let's just look at what we've got here. We could add another person there. That will help. We've got people to spare. We're getting quite a lot of food from there. Uh, wood, apparently we need to... Oh, I'll come back to that thought in a moment. That's doing okay. That's doing okay. Maybe we'll see if we can add some shoreline stuff. We don't have any fisheries. We could maybe add some of those in. We'll see what we can do. I was thinking of a trade as well. Looking at this, which is the one that's going out? This one here. So that's where we're going to have to add... We can add trade anywhere around here. We'll be fine. Okay. Yep, that's good. Wood, we're going to be using a lot of wood when we, when we start upgrading things. So we need to really produce a lot of wood. And we don't have that much. We have... Just, I'm just going to approach 200. That's another thing I was going to check. How many people we've got in there? We've got four... I think he's planting new trees as well. It says he should be. Let's just speed that up to five. What did we get? Two, or oh, nearly 300. Plenty of iron, some stone. So it may be that I could put another forester in with this. I don't think that would actually make any difference. So in fact, I think I will do that now. We could squeeze one in just at the side there. So let's do that while we think of it. Resource production, forester and login, forester lodge new tree. Let's go for another. I don't want to go for one of these weird ones and end up with bamboo wood trees or something. Use to define an air to selectively cut down trees for hardwood and plant new seedlings. I haven't seen that we needed hardwood just yet. So I think we'll go just for one of these. Let's squeeze that thing in there. Let's rotate. Just wondering whether we put it straight opposite there. There, that'll be good. Yep, there we go. And then we could do with probably. How are we doing house wise? Hopefully, people will move in there because at the minute I imagine they're travelling quite far. Well, they're not because they live nearby. This guy's going to end up travelling quite far. Let's just check how far these ones are travelling. Uh, that one there, yeah, it's not too bad, is it? It's only into town. And that one, nope, what's that? Oh yeah, that's the Forester's Lodge, yeah, they're travelling into town as well. So we could maybe put another house up here, and then another house next to the other Forester, and that will probably keep us going. How much stone have we got? Not much. So we're going for a wooden house. What have we got here? Standard wooden houses. Let's go for a standard wooden house. We can always upgrade those later. There we go. That'll get built as well. Forrester's Lodge is getting done. Clothes, 32. Oh, nice. He's working really fast. Tools, 32. Are we going to leave that on 50? Hide coat, feathers. To be honest, yeah, he's going to run out of materials before he's actually going to be able to make as many coats as he needs, isn't he? Which is fine. That's okay. He'll keep chipping away as more leather comes in. We'll be fine with that. What have we got over here? I think these are log cabins, aren't they? Yeah, log cabin, log cabin. Let's put in a log cabin. Do they hold single family, better warmth and comfort than a wooden home? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's add that in then. Sneak that up to the side there. Meat, leather, venison, tons of venison. Oh, look, our food shot right up. That's nice. 26, 30, 34. Yeah, that's fine. We just had a sudden influx of food, so I'm pleased with that. Here we go. So they're going to cut and plant new trees, and hopefully, let's have another couple of people there. 
Excellent. And we've still got people to spare. Very good. Let's close that down there. There goes the wooden house. And that was the one over the other side. 14-year-old Taylor. I thought you said Biffa. Huh, that would have been a surprise, wouldn't it? There we go. So that's good. Let's see where they're working. So they're working here. Yep, yeah, well, they were tailors, weren't they, as I just read. And this log cabin over here is being worked on. In a minute. Here we go. Sawing away. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Well, she's aging as she builds. She's working hard, so you know we'll let her off. I'm wondering whether at some point we're going to get a score. I don't know whether to sort of wait until we get nearer a hundred people, perhaps. I know there's probably people out there that say, "Oh, this is the exact figure you need to." Look at this. This is great. Page up and page down. We can change the view as well. There we go. You know, there's probably a, a mathematical, mathematically good amount for for doing that for having a score. But you know, I'm quite happy not to. What am I looking at there? Oh yeah, the housewares. Oh, I really want to get those going, but we're going to have to start working on other stuff for that. The homewares. Furniture and copperware. It looks to me, furniture and pottery. Pottery is interesting. Let's have a look. Let's shut that. Let's shut that. Let's close that. Pottery. I wonder where that comes from. It sounds like that would be something that would come from something easy. Pottery comes from the, well, wouldn't you, Adam, and believe it, from the potter. So, resource production. Let's have a look. Forester and logging. Ores, minerals, mines, and quarries. Now, it's trying to find where the potter is. Is that just... Hang on, let's go up here. Build an icon profession type. Oh, shame it doesn't have another little column saying which menu it's in. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Let's have a quick look, see if we can find it. Refine resources, that sounds like it'd be... Let's have a look. Fabrics and fibres, no. Crafting and artisans, maybe. That looks like a potter. Oh, we've got to shut this, or it won't show up. We'll move it over there. There we go. Potter takes clay and pottery. Takes clay and creates pottery. How do we get the clay? I'm now wondering whether it will be easier just going for... The first one, copperware, which comes from, I bet that comes from some sort of mine or something like that. Do, 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 do. Copperware comes from a metal smith. Okay. Lumber construction material, smithing tool. Okay, here we go. Uh, metal smith, so blacksmith, small iron smelter, melting house, metal smith. Huh? He needs. Oh, building supplies. Okay, that's fine. To build one of those. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm going down a rabbit hole here. Let me just have a quick look and see what it is that I need to make. One second. Okay, I think I found the first step that we need to go for. All of these need furniture. We're not going to get the brick done yet. I think we need to start with the homewares. Let's make a joiner. Can I click on this? Click on that. Joiner. There we go. Create furniture for building homes. That is what I think we need. Let's go for one of those. Oh, he's quite big. Uh, let's close that down. Quite a big building. I've got the right one. Join it. Yeah, there we go. Let's put that over here near the building supply. This is where all the work seems to be going on. It's annoying that I've accidentally set that back one from that corner, but that's okay. We'll work with that. What I'm going to do is we take that round. We're going to have a little gap. Is that going to let me build something up the side there? Do you know what? Before I put that in, I want to run a road up the side there. Let's keep the game going. Uh, stone road. Yeah, we can go up there. There we go. Just for space purposes. Then we know where we are. Uh, number construction. Where was it? Here we go. Joiner. Yep. That one can go there. I wonder whether to put him back from the road as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have the joiner. So we'll take that one. So that will start getting us the furniture that we need. So it's going to take stone. We've got enough lumber. We've got enough logs. Yeah, so that shouldn't be too bad. We've got spare people, so that's fine. Stone. We're so short on stone. Oh, my goodness. Where's all the stone going? Okay, guys, we need to get out and collect some stone. 
Not iron like I did last time. That's iron ore. Collect stone. Let's do a big stone collection. There is not much stone around, is there? We need to get a quarry going soon. There's some stone. There we go. That's all iron. There we go. There's stone as well. Good, good. Let's shut that. Oh, no. I wanted to look at that. While they're collecting the stone and the joiner's getting finished. So, copperware... Copperware, tinware, rugs, pottery, lamp oil, bedding, glassware. I, I'm imagining they're, they're in the order of what would be, you know, the easiest to do. But now I'm thinking maybe not. Because copperware comes from a metal smith. And actually needs one of those thingies. <laughs> All the names. Building supplies. Which are... Uh, which are down here. Maybe with all of these things. So we can't do that one. Uh, tinware. Let's see where tin comes from. Scroll down. Do, 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 do. While they're building this. Yep. Still waiting to get the stone. Here they come. They're working on it. Tin. What is it saying we're short of? Reserve of stone is low. Storage for log stone and iron is near capacity. Oh, right. Okay. Um, well, this is going to have storage right next to it. So where could we put... Shame they don't store it in the old castle. We could actually put a nice bit of storage here. Well, oh, their storage is full. Let's put another wood stockpile over here for these guys. Do, 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 do. Wood stockpile. And let's put that here. There we go. Now that will do for that. And then let's put a general purpose one here for now. In fact, we'll do a couple. There we go. That will do. Keep them going. Uh, tin, tin, tin. Tin from the foundry. Tin soup? Not tin soup, was it? Tin ware. Is that just the same as tin? So if that comes from a foundry, that's going to be un under here, surely. Foundry. Ah, creates iron from iron ore, steel from iron ore, creates cannons, joists, iron statues. Oh, it's getting built up, that joiner. That only takes stone, lumber and wood. So we could go for a foundry and make tin. It doesn't say tin on there. We're going to have to get tin from somewhere. They're not just going to make tin ore. Tin ore mine shaft. There we go, look, you see. So we're... Let's get the joiner here. What's he going to make? Furniture? Fancy furniture. Right, you can make furniture. So we're going to get some furniture made, which is good. Good, good, good. So we need that. Uh, so what was the other option that we had on here? Rug. When are we going to make a rug? That's going to be something that's going to need something else that might need something different. A weaver's. So that's probably going to be here. Fabrics and fibres. Tailor. Weaver. We can make a weaver. They're going to need flax, cotton, silkworm. They can also fashion rugs. Yeah, they're going to need stuff that we haven't got. I'm pretty sure they are. Let's leave that one open. Pottery we looked at. Let me check the rest of these ones out. Okay, I've got a plan. We can get tin ore from a tin ore mine shaft. Here we go. We can make that. That's only wood, stone and lumber. They're all things that we can make. Let's start the game up again. And then we can turn that tin ore into tin in a foundry, which is this one and this one. There we go, and we can make a foundry as well. That's only stone, lumber, and wood. So with those two, we will get the tin that we need, and that's, that's another old car sword, I don't wanna make that. We will get the tin that we need to go with the furniture. I'm assuming the tin is the tinware. If it isn't, oh no, tinware. Metalsmith. Oh no, I thought I'd work that all out. Uh, I thought I bet I can't make a metalsmith. Oh, he takes flipping building supplies, which I can't make. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because stone is something that's so hard to come by, I think maybe we might be jumping ahead a little bit too soon. So what I'm going to do is... Food's okay, wood should be picking up more now. Stone is a problem. Actually, that's nearly getting up to 500 again. I don't know where they're coming from. What what counts as materials? It says here, 
glass rope bricks joist and so on we don't have any of those so that confuses me but anyway yeah we can make let's go back to here we can make a stone there's the old mines that you couldn't remove once they were placed remember those big ugly things and um, but also you can now do uh, here somewhere stone and salt mine iron ore and coal mine but these can be upgraded and then you can reclaim them they take 65 woods and they can literally go anywhere so we could maybe let's have a see I mean all of this area is free to be worked it doesn't matter where it goes just thinking near to the houses and they could literally be a mining town they can work around this mine uh, let's have a look if we did it so we remove that bit of road let's do that let's just remove some of this and then make it go that's all right trying to get, go for things that look nice as well as if we go there and there for now we'll change that to stone too using stone that we haven't got we'll change that to stone as well why not there we go and then if we add this which one was it now? The tin ore stone and salt mine in here. We we'll get that sort of lined up. Does that look in the middle to you? How many across is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep. So that'll go on there. Like that. That's gonna take sixty-five logs. Yep, we're fine, we've got those. Let's get that built. Sip of tea. And at least then we've got a steady income of of salt. Oh, deer wandering through. Where's my archers when you need them? Thought I was going to sneeze. And I did. So there we go. So now that's stopped again because the materials were at 500. What can I use my materials for? Feel like I'm really missing a trick there. Oh, is that nearly built? Almost built. There we go. Nearly built. And what's that one doing? He's okay. He stopped as well because the material was at 500. How much furniture do, do we have? Where is that being stored? Uh, we don't have a normal storage area around here, do we? Because the castle isn't holding those. Oh, it's built. Look, look, look. Is the furniture being put into one of these barns. It's not being put into that one, and that's the only one there, isn't it? Yeah, because that's a house. Let's check this place over here. There we go. No. So where is the furniture going that this guy is making? How much has he made? Four pieces of furniture. And he's storing it somewhere secret, and he's not telling anybody. Okay, we'll maybe find out about that. Where he's put that furniture? There it is. Four on the stockpile. Good, 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 good. Oh look, we can even see the furniture. Fine. Yep, at least we know it's there. Let's have a look at this salt mine. What do we need in there? Three people in there. Let's do that. We've got spare people. That's fine. We can get stone or salt. Stone limit two hundred. You know what? I'm going to want that to four hundred. Dry goods. Control the amount of store dry goods. I'm assuming that means. The salt? Or is that some other some other thing? I don't know. We can upgrade that deep stone and salt mine. Allows ground to be reclaimed. We need some sort of candles. Ah, oh, that makes sense. If they're going down deep, then yes, you would need candles. That's fine. Storage for logs and stones near capacity. That was before, wasn't it? Esmir has been born. So that's good. So people can live and work around that. We'll add some more. Let's have a look. Now that we're making stone paths. Let's add... Where's that going? Don't want that to go there. There we go. Around here. Make this look nice. It goes to there. I think what it is, is this is like a walk-in area, so it lets you... So we might as well cover that as well. Look, let's make it... Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Fill it in. There we go. Any more that can be filled? I think that's probably it. What's this one saying here? Reserve of stone is low. Really? Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? 
Excellent. There we go. Look, they actually go down. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. They actually go down into the, into the mine. Oh, no. Once it's... So it's not an indefinitely lasting thing. I don't have that mod I've used before, which has given me everlasting pits and mines and stuff like that. So eventually this will empty out and we'll only be able to reclaim the land by upgrading it. Well, we've learnt something there. Of course, it was the herbalist. There we go. That's what we want, collecting the herbs. Let's put that... What have we got? We've got two buildings there. We could put that here. I think that'll be fine. Let's connect that opposite that storage on that road there. There we go. That'll be good. And they will collect herbs. How much stone are we getting here? 43. Stone's up to 40. Let's get rid of the joiner. Let's get rid of that. Because we know we're doing okay on lumber. Lots of lumber. Actually, we could... This one here. Oh, it's stopping because of the materials thing again. Okay, well, we'll find out what happens with that <laughs> eventually. Oh, dear. But at least we'll be getting... Oh, we've got 12 stone, plenty of wood. Yeah, just build time. At least we'll be getting the herbs going, which is good. So we're not going to suddenly run out of medicine and have an issue, which I wouldn't want. We've got plenty of people on everything. Is there everybody stocked up with the amount of people that they need? Foresters, eight. Gatherers, four. Hunters, three. Joiners, one. Packer. Works at the building supplies. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we don't have them doing anything because we don't... Can't make any of those things. Uh, Stonecutter, tailor. Yeah, they're all maxed out. And woodcutter. So, yep, that's fine. That's good. Let's see. How's this doing? Almost done. 48%. Let's see what this looks like. Loving the way these buildings look. I must say. Whoever does the graphics for Colonial Charter, well done. They look really, really good. Nice and detailed as well. So those... Yeah, they'll be stored in there quite happily. We've got plenty of space in there. Can't upgrade that anyway. Food limit 5,000. Oh, we are. Wow, let's up that to 10,000. We just we never want to run out of food. There we go. You keep going. Herbalist. One, two. Fantastic. Yeah, herb limit 100. That, that feels fine to me. There we go. So we may add some more houses. The town isn't too far away. Well, we're doing okay. Things are pottering along nicely. We're fulfilling our needs, which is nice. We've now got an extra store of stone. What have we got? 38, 42, so 4,200. We've got plenty of food, plenty of food. Guys, that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, as always... Please leave a like, that is greatly appreciated, and thank you for your enthusiasm towards this series as well. I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Can't wait to play again to record the next episode. I'm actually recording this on Saturday night, so I'm not going to play and record again until Monday. I'll have to wait till then. Look at him, he's the only guy making for us all the fuel, and he's working like Billio, chopping that. Good job. Here he is, who is it? Good job to Mitchie the Chopper. Age 51 is getting old. And guys, I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Don't forget, it's every day at 2pm UTC or BST if you're, if you're English. See you then. Bye-bye.